everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Maisa. I am a game developer on the Roblox platform and today I am going to be sharing some updates with you on my game, The Sandbox Place. It has been a minute since I have been able to work on it because I have a day job and you know, I get sleepy. I need to sleep sometimes so I can't do everything all the time but I'm trying my best. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a few of the things that I've been implementing into my game. I kind of have an understanding of where I want to take the game now so I have to stop adding random things to it. That means it's going to be a solid experience for you, the player. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been setting up a bunch of base systems for the game, and I've also been looking into terrain generation, and the other thing I've been looking into is creating Minecraft-style servers so that you can travel from a main place to your world, and then invite people into your world, and then save your world. It was a bit annoying to figure out because the teleporting to and from things is just scary, and I usually just stay in one game and one experience but we're figuring it out and we did figure it out and it's really cool and now players have worlds there's a few bugs going on but we're gonna fix that later so just ignore the bugs that you see in this video because i'm getting there so if you're interested in seeing how i've been implementing minecraft style servers into my game then keep watching because i'm going to show you and then you can do it too number one is that we want to allow the player to create and store a world in their data number two is that we want to allow the player to view all of the worlds that they've created number three we want to make it so that the player can then travel to the world and then number four we want to save that world's data to a separate data store so that when the player joins it they can load their world what is a reserve server you may be asking well a reserve server is basically a private server that you can create under your experience and the way that it works is you use teleport async with teleport async you call a function called reserve server and what that does is it will return an access code and a server id this is a permanent server in your experience so basically if you store this information the access code and the reserve server id you can always go back to the world so the way that I am implementing this into my game is that I am taking the reserve server ID and the access code and I am storing it under the player's data so that I can retrieve it when they want to travel to their world. And now that we have the reserve server ID and the access code, we can now teleport the player to their world. How do we now teleport the player to their reserve server? I am going to show you a basic implementation of this because I feel if I try to show you the code that I am working with, it may just confuse you. The way that you want to implement the ability to teleport a player to a reserve server is you want to use this thing called teleport async and what you're going to pass through it is your place ID, a table of players, and something called teleport options. Under teleport options, you just want to pass the access code and then you want to set your teleport data to the information that you want to send across to the server. What I am sending through teleport data is the access code and then also the reserve server ID because you don't have access to that just straight off the bat when you teleport to the server. If that information was helpful to you, please be sure to give this video a like so that I know that it was helpful to you and don't forget to subscribe. So now that I have done all of that stuff, I can kind of just show you it in action. So we are going to open up the Roblox and hope that it is not broken on this fine Saturday. Um, let me go here to the sandbox place development. Let me open it up. Okay, so I've been creating some worlds. These are the bugs that I've been talking about. Um, it's displayed twice, which is not accurate. There's only two worlds. This is Anne's world and you all are simply living in it. So if I hit play, if I hit play, then it should teleport me to the world. Sometimes I have to like spam click play um, and I don't know why, but it's okay. Okay, hello. So here we are in our reserve server. And some other things that I have done is I have generated this map here using the Roblox train generator. I have been working on my own terrain generator so that players can have like slightly unique islands that they can build on, but for now this is this is what we're working with because my terrain generator is not as beautiful as this. And I've also re-implemented my butterflies into the game, which I think they're looking pretty 
pretty and so that makes me happy and then also I've been working on this thing where you can create think, create those structures in your game. Basically each structure has its own system to determine how things behave when you place them in the world. So for something like foundation here, you can go like boop and then it resizes the base of it so that it looks structurally sound. And so I create another one and it starts filling in. Boop. Boop. And boop. And so now when you are up here, you can be like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna fall. This isn't gonna break. I am perfectly safe on this perfectly structurally sound base. And I've also created a wall. I'm not sure it works properly, but basically I'm trying to make it snap to things well. Yeah, it's not placing right now. That's another bug, we'll figure that out later. But this is where we're at so far with the game. I'm pretty excited about it. If you guys like this content, then be sure to subscribe because I would love to make more of this stuff and share it with more people. So please subscribe and please give it a like. And that is it for the video. Let's see where we get in the future. Have, have a good, have a good day. Bye.